I have returned, chat. Let's continue. And we say hi, YouTube. Welcome back as well. As this is part of a longer stream on Twitch. I mean, if you watch the VODs enough, you should know the drill by now. But... VODs that are eight hours long, I don't know. I feel like they don't do as well. Anyway. I noticed there was a blood moon whilst I, I did a BRB. Alright, where am I going from here? I mean, this area, I feel like I've, I've been pretty consistent with it. Some of it's pretty empty fields. Alright. <laughs> yes, say hi to YouTube. I'm just waiting for someone to leave a comment on YouTube and be like, Hi Twitch. Let's see if, uh, maybe, maybe I can go five minutes without it, uh, starting to do you-know-what. <laughs> oh, man. I thought I died there for a second. Ooh. Ooh, hold on. Oh, thank you for the follow. Hold up. Is that too- is this a lost cause? Can I- Ah, uh, I might be able to get there. What's the time right now? This is one of the downsides of the minimal HUD. It's okay, just go, just go. I can always turn around if it's wrong. Ah, uh, it looks like the sun's gonna rise. Please don't rise! The sun's gonna rise before I get there. Oh, come on. Well, that was a waste of time. Ugh. If I had 30 more seconds, I would have gone on it. That happens every time I go for one of those things. It's okay, I'll get one eventually.
Yeah, that's this area. But that's in a... Again, I'm keeping this... I'm doing this tower by tower. With the exception of, uh... Lanero, because the Lanero tower is kind of annoying, because it's just raining. And I've already done a bit of it. I think once I do Hatino's tower, then I'll I'll go and do Lanero and head further north. I just want to make sure that, you know, I'm covering land properly. Am I still being chased? No, okay, cool. thinking. Yeah, I'll just walk through. It's fine. I was thinking of climbing, but I get the feeling... I'm not gonna say the word, but you know, I get the feeling that certain word might happen. I mean, that's not a Korok, it would have gone off sooner, so what is this? Here at Nintendo, we create controllers of the highest quality, and they certainly don't do things like, uh, drift over time. It's not an issue that exists, however, we have started a program where you know, on the off chance that by some miracle it happens, we'll do it. We'll fix it for free. That's just how nice we are. I 
I don't want to lose that. Hey, no, no, no. Oh, crap. No. Come back. Son. Oh, my God. I can't believe that almost went in. Seems pretty consistent. All right. I need I need more octo balloons. going on here <laughs> you're not doing anything hey buddy you gotta get real tough to go toe-to-toe -to -toe with some of the monsters out here I don't know ooh I wonder if that's one oh no It's not. Okay. I was a bit quiet there for a sec chat, but like, I have neighbors, I've talked about this before, but I have neighbors that for some weird reason, they just, I don't know if they're vacuuming or doing something, but this, it almost sounds like someone's using a hammer and it's like 10.30 at night. And sometimes they do it at two or three in the morning. It's definitely not a sex thing, at least I don't think it is, because it's not, it's not consistent enough to be that. Unless they involve hammers somehow, but... Okay, good. Mighty elixir.
Just making sure that someone wasn't like, you know, knocking really hard on the door or something. <laughs> Wait, you don't have arrows still? Right, I'll take your octo balloons. Wow! Yay! I'm surprised he hasn't restocked. There was a blood moon. Sex and hammers don't go together, do they? I don't know. Not from my experience. I mean, I'm sure there's probably a use case for it somewhere, but... have this fantasy of just Bob the Builder. You know, turning up to your house and uh, fixing it, if you know what I mean. Does Bob the Builder still exist? I don't know. That might be a reference to a kid's show that maybe isn't around anymore. That's an old show. Yeah, I mean, I haven't seen any new kids shows as of late. I mean, I know that there's a famous Australian one uh, called Bluey. And then there's, I think, one called Blippy as well. But outside of that, no idea. That came out in 99, fucking hell. Well, I mean, it was around for my younger two brothers, so that's what I'm basing it off, is like what they used to watch. So it checks out. Blippy is a bastard. <laughs> I see someone is uh, a fan of Blippy in the chat. <laughs> do, you know, do you know what tortured me with my younger brothers? They loved... Shrek, the movie Shrek, and so we had it on VHS, and that movie was playing every single day, sometimes multiple times a day. So, I saw Shrek when it came out in the movies, and I thought it was a great movie, but to this day, I still can't watch that movie now, because it's just ruined. It's just, they watched that tape way too much. And sometimes they'd be like, you've already seen Shrek today, and then, you know, I want to see Shrek! Like, all right. <laughs> I can't, I can't watch Shrek. <laughs> and it's just burnt into my brain. Like, I just know too many of the lines. I know the music from it. Okay, well, that's definitely a Korok over there. Blue's Clues are still around, though, even though that's old. I know that's still around. I think Dora the Explorer is still around, right, as well? And then there's some stuff that just survives the test of time, like Sesame Street. Utter explosion. Okay, so am I am I just not gonna get anything from that?
Is that just another a sign to show how old I am that I don't know what little kids are watching these days? <laughs> I mean, I have a niece and she doesn't watch. That's the thing. She watches anime and stuff. And stuff that I would probably watch. Nothing like that. I mean, she is a bit older, but... I'm heading a little too much this way. I need to... Your youngest love, Blue Feast. Thankfully, moved on to Blue, which is much better. I've heard good things about Bluey. And uh, the creators of Bluey reference one of the streamers I watch. Like, they've dedicated a, a background character to, to him. Let's head to Ha Teno. It should be in this direction, I think. Spackling, welcome back. See, I can say that and almost have an accent. Oh. to ignore you. I can't believe Bob the Builder didn't stand the test of time. Hearing. Is that a wolf? No, it's something sleeping. Uh, am I going to regret this? 
Wow. It's a lot of stamina. That's just a uh, moblin. Okay, I am. Um, I mean, I'll move this way. What am I doing? Just looking for Koroks, and then I'll eventually get Hatina Tower. And do the shrines in this area. Oh, that's Hatina Tower. I guess I could go get it now. playing this pretty systematically. Like, I'm gonna go around tower by tower, and then get whatever I can, and move on to the next one. the arrow. Aim higher. What's going on here? There we go. That's weird. Okay. What's the least favorite? I mean, probably the lizards. Just because they hop around and they shoot water. But just, they're agile and annoying. That's about it. <laughs> they're not hard. It's just irritating. Because, you know, other enemies, you can just ignore them and run past. These ones, they'll spit from a distance. I guess I didn't have to hit that one. Hmm. I mean, hopefully this goes all the way up. I might need one more. We'll see.
I'm just amazed that you can pretty much go anywhere with base stamina. I mean, aside from the times where I climb something difficult instead of going around the long way. But, I mean, in general, you can get anywhere with not upgrading anything. Okay. Something I'm never going to use, <laughs> but it's just for the map reveal. Oh, this area is larger than I thought it was. Okay, but that's Hatina region. Now we're going to go all around Hatina region and do shrines and Koroks and all that fun stuff. I mean, I should go to Linearu because then I can get the memory. Unlocking towers is satisfying because the music makes it feel like a big event, and it's one of the few times where there is music in this game. I wonder if that's going to be the same thing in Tears, or if they're going to make it a bit less silent than what it is. But yeah, I mean, it's cool you see your map getting filled out a bit more. Elden Ring has a similar vibe as you start in a small region of the map and then it kind of just gets bigger and bigger and you're like, oh wow, this world is massive. This is a talus, isn't it? Shit. Mark it. Where is it? Is it on? It's on its head, so I could probably fight this one. I mean, there's not a whole lot of incentive to do it. Yeah, Elden Ring's map is massive. And there's also Underworld as well, so... Which I think is going to be the case in Tears. There's going to be an, a Sky map and an Underworld map by the looks of it. I mean, a lot of it's going to take place in the sky, so... It makes sense, then... They could still keep this map, but still have new things about it. I think I just need to drop down one more so then it leaves me alone. No map will surprise you, so long as No Man's Sky exists and Star Citizen pretends to exist. <laughs> There are some people that'll take issue with that. Not me, but... It's just one of those things where it's a sunken cost fallacy. But I mean, okay, there's a difference between size and procedural generated that makes it pretty big. And then there's handcrafted. Right, like this is a handcrafted world of this size. Whereas in, I believe, No Man's Sky, it's procedurally generated, so it doesn't... Whilst it, it's impressive, it doesn't have the same level of charm that something like this does. What do I think an annoying feature will be? I mean, I'm not focusing on negative things, so I don't know. I'm looking at the positives, what I, what I think I'm going to enjoy, not what I think I'm not going to enjoy. Half full, not half empty, know what I mean?
Okay, there we go. Pay no attention to me. Big moblin. I'm just here to collect the invisible forest creature. Please take a photo of this bird. I've been trying to for the longest amount of time. Oh wait, I have already. I guess... When did I take the photo? It doesn't matter. It's done. I thought I didn't. Maybe I thought I missed, but it didn't. How many seeds am I waiting for before going to the forest to see Hatsu? I'm... Probably, it's either going to be I'll have all of them, or I'm never going to meet Hestu. That's pretty much the deal. I've been over the rules. It's like, nothing happens until I have everything. It's going to be this for the longest amount of time. You don't need it. You can get through everything. And I've done it before, so it's not something where I'm like, Oh yeah, I think I can do it. It's like, no, I've done it before. Exactly what I'm doing, I'm doing here, I've done it before. Oh come on! Why can't my horse do? Th I'm sorry, Chat. Are you look? Are you what? Are you watching this? Look at what this horse is doing right now. <laughs> if you were if you were riding a horse, it would get this far and be like, no, can't go any further. It would stop right there. I hope they fix that. Make the horse less temperamental. I understand that it shouldn't be allowed to go up too steep of a slope. That's fine, but it it just it stops so often. Like at the smallest of obstacle. It's the main reason the Master Cycle is actually good. Yep. Master Cycle is great. And I will be keeping count of uh, how many times I crash the thing. Urkel's Navel, that's something. process to get the master cycle is is really painful and when i go do it i'll i'll only have seven hearts because i believe in order to do it you have to have all the divine beasts done but yeah seven hearts at that point and i've done it before it's just it's difficult That. That's it. Good link.
Moblin in there. I'm surprised that worked. <laughs> you know what I did once? At one point, I was trying to do some climbing and it wouldn't stop raining, so I started playing the nursery rhyme rain rain go away and then the rain stopped if, if i wasn't petrified of dmca i would do that right now something. This might be one of these ones that's roaming around. Oh no, this, this is the one. Okay, facing this one. Ah, it's, it's this one. Okay, hang on, let me watch it for a minute. Is it just the two? Sorry, hang on. Okay. I was just plugging in the controller as well, because I just realized, oh wait, I haven't charged this thing. Wrong arrow. Let's just end that early. I'm still trying to get to 200 tonight. 200 Koroks. I'm not sure if it'll happen. <laughs> I mean, I've found 30 today, 31, 32, so. It's Friday, so. 
don't have to worry about getting up early tomorrow, or getting up tomorrow, I should say. Sleep. Hang on. It's too far away now. Yeah. Maybe we might come back. Got it. Oh, that... Does... Did that work? No, it didn't. <laughs> Damn it. Got you. <laughs> Action shot. This way. There's a bunch of hills. I'll go check out the hills. from okay I'm very far away from Lanayru <laughs> I need to go across the other side but that's fine I'll explore this southern area It's Friday, chat. You want to have a drinking game? Drink every time it starts to rain. And I have to try and climb something. It's 2 p.m. and you're still at work. <laughs> and? I'm only joking. That's only 9. That's 5 p.m. somewhere.
Wow, they were just waiting for me. It says only 11 p.m. here. No biggie. Turn up this way. Korok over there, leave me alone. Should deal with them. <laughs> so I guess what you're saying is, if I stream early morning, then I can say that stuff and be like, "All right." Messiah, how, how's the uh, housework coming along? Maybe it was the one that I was seeing. Done now, so you can enjoy the cozy chill. Nice, we'll kick back. Okay, it's apple time. Which one is it? It is that one. Hold on, I have to get rid of these. This is fine because it's just one hit. Good thing I double checked. Wait, I got it wrong? I got it wrong. Shit. <laughs> How many minutes ago? Three minutes ago. Okay, that's fine. <laughs> I hit the wrong one. Thank you, autosave. Where am I? I am here. Okay, and it's over there. So th that's fine. There's not a whole lot missed. It's that hill over there. And I will run through this forest again, just so it's apparent that I went through it later. What is this? Oh, it's a cave. I see. I see. I see.
Uh, I mean, probably not worth it. Oh! There was one here. Okay, well, blessing in the skies then, huh? Nothing to see here, go back to sleep. You know what? <laughs> you know what? We what, what what is Link doing? There we go. Which one is it? It's the upper one that I have to shoot. Yeah. It's not around here, is it? No. Eventide Island is is somewhere down here. I just remember <laughs> that island. What's on the to-do list? I mean, I want to try to get to roughly 200 Koroks, but otherwise it's just... Gonna go around Hatino region and do the shrines and everything associated with it. So if I can clear Hatino, which is like this eastern area... I'll be happy. Earlier was just to backtrack through um, Nekluda and uh, the Great Plateau, which I did. So the only area I haven't done properly is uh, Lanayru, but that's because it just rains there. So my plan is do, do this Hatina area, cut across, finish Lanayru, and then head up here, which there's not a whole lot to do up here, but just finish that area. But I'm going to take it uh, one tower at a time. And just, you know, do the shrines, get as many Koroks as I can and just move around the map like that. So that's the loose plan. And along the way, if I feel like fighting things, I'll fight things. Just to keep things fresh, I guess. Because I know, I know how much people like death. Or something that brings some level of struggle. I'm definitely going for 900. I'll try it. Again, it's just whatever I can get done before Tears of the Kingdom comes out. And if that means 900, cool. But if it gets to the point where it's like, okay, Tears of the Kingdom is releasing tomorrow, I, I'm not close to 900, it's whatever, it's fine. I mean, at the rate that I'm going so far, I think I can do it. And... This is the second time around, so, you know, there's there's lessons I've learnt. No commitment. Well, 
Yeah, I mean, it's just because I've done it once already. And I don't- I don't wanna be like, for the sake of getting everything done, I'm not gonna play Tears of the Kingdom right away. I don't wanna do that. I have a month, that's fine. I'm sure it'll work out. But I don't like saying that I'm gonna do something and then be like, listen. Like, I try not to do that. Unless it's- unless it's something where it's- I'm suffering and it is horrendous and it's just a waste of time. My time and your time. I'll- I try to follow through in what I say. Okay, just seeing what direction I was heading in. I mean, there might be something up here. But I'll turn around, most likely. I can definitely make commitments. Like, with other, with the previous games I've played, some people were asking, are you going to 100%? And I was like, yeah, I'm going to get all the heart containers, I'm going to do this, I'm going to do that. No problem. This one, because it's like, well... I'm not sure how much I'm going to get done before uh, the new game releases. Okay, so I know what this is. This is the, uh, the three Hyanox. Where you have to steal the, vo the, the balls. Hope I don't get done too early. I have no idea how to fill the void. I know, I have a I have a backup plan. If I do get done really early, there's... There's, uh, ba 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 what's it called? Hyrule Warriors Age of Calamity, or whatever it's called. The one that tells the story of the Calamity. So that's technically in this universe, and it's something that could fill the void. The prequel, effectively. I also have Cadence of Hyrule, which is not a mainline game, but it's... It's a Zelda game, so there's options. Or I could just try to do all the quests or something. I'll, I'll figure it out. We'll play it by ear. Unless people are sick and tired of Zelda and are like, listen, just... Play something else. <laughs> Because it has been a pretty strong focus here for like the last month almost. I was a bit light on it, but then when I saw, oh shit, I don't have much time left before the game comes out. I started prioritizing it a bit more. And put some stuff on the back burner, backlog, whatever you want to call it. Hang on, should I go this way? That's heading to the coast, so I should be heading this way. No. Oh. Okay, I see. I see. Sick of Zelda, not possible. It's possible. It's one of those things that's hard to believe is just, oh, how could people not like Zelda? There are people that don't like Zelda, or at least aren't as heavy, heavily into it. There's stuff that I need to finish, like I was playing Bridge Construct the Portal, but I can't... I need to really be in the mood to play that and finish it, but I'm nearly at the end of that one. And I keep saying I'm gonna play The Last of Us. And God of War. So those those are like lying in wait. Oh, it should be this one. But I mean, yeah. You know, Tears of the Kingdom is the largest release so far for the year for me, so. Okay, 
Okay, let me save in, ca in case I do something. Something that's, uh, yeah, I'll regret. It's raining again. Last of Us is not your type of game. That's fair enough. Horror games typically aren't my thing either, but... This one plays, I guess, a bit like a movie, and... It's one of those things that enough people have said I would like to see you play it, so... I'll oblige. It's kind of like... Every now and then I'll play rhythm games, and I'm terrible at rhythm games, and they're not really my thing, however... I do acknowledge that when I play them, people are entertained, so... I will do it. But when I'm not- when I wasn't doing the Zelda thing, typically... It's usually two games that I'll be playing, so... It'll be- I'll start with one game, and then halfway through the stream I'll swap to another game. So then, it's like, if you're not enjoying one thing, then maybe the other thing I'm doing is something you're into. So that's how I typically do things here. And then, you know, every now and then I'll be like, all right, uh, for this stream, I'm gonna be checking out this random thing. Like sometimes surprise streams where it's just like, just for this one stream, I'm doing this. So April Fools, I played WarioWare Gold and I did the Warrior voice for two and a half hours. So that would be an example of that. There was another night where I played, uh, games that used to be on my computer as a kid in the 1990s, so that was, uh, that was fun. Also included this interactive CD from McDonald's that was given out with Happy Meals in 1998, so... Because it was, uh, voice acted and kind of cheesy and everything was with an Australian accent, it's funny. But yeah, I understand that, like, sometimes I'll play something that you're not into. And that's fine. But I do generally ask. I guess that's the thing I'm appreciative of, is like... People will watch sometimes, even if they're not into the game. And, yeah, just let me do my thing. Do I like Jump and Run? Never heard of it. What is it? It's a sh sub genre of. Oh, it's a genre. What are examples of it? <laughs> I mean, are these just platformers? <laughs> like Mario Donkey Kong. Sorry. It's just. Yeah. Yeah, I've never heard anyone call him Jump and Run, that's all. <laughs> I've only ever heard Platformer. Yes, I grew up on those kind of games. Um, definitely grew up on those kind of games. I've played 3D ones, 2D ones. Um, the latest, one of the, the most recent ones I did, it was a ROM hack of Super Mario World that's just a bunch of levels made by the... Uh, the level designing community, and they range from, you know, uh, interesting to just painfully hard. But also I've done casual stuff. Torture Mario, 50-50. Uh, it's not extreme Torture Mario. It's definitely not stuff where one level... 
like the first jump is gonna mess you up. I hate stuff like that. It's more of, um, sometimes it was difficult, but it was difficult because it had an interesting mechanic. So, in one of the levels in what I played, uh, you teamed up with a, a mini charge and chuck from Super Mario World, like, you know, the football dude. But it was a mini version, and he was your friend. So he would jump when you would jump, so you had to finish a stage together, so it was like a puzzle. But it was hard because... Um, <laughs> it just <laughs> sometimes would not follow your instructions properly, so it would mess up the jump and then you would have to try again, or sometimes he would get you killed. But, you know, stuff like that where it's, it's not painful torture, but it can be hard. Um, yeah. I want to go back and play the Donkey Kong series, so like that, I've had that on my mind for a while. Like the, the three Super Nintendo ones, I'm not sure about 64 because I've heard bad things about it. I've never played it. I do have a copy of it, but I've heard things. And then Tropical Freeze. Because that is a great game. I also have Donkey Kong Returns on the 3DS, so... I've heard that one's good, too. 64 is meh. Yeah, I've heard. It's, it's different. I think it's something I, I want to experience once, but I'm not going to be hard set on, you know, doing everything on it. I may as well do this since I'm here. It's technically part of this map. So, I do want to do that at some point this year. I don't know when, but that's one of those things that I definitely want to do. I also want to, um, I want to play, because on Nintendo Switch Online, because I have the Game Boy Advance games now, uh, the Game Boy Advance version of Mario 3 on Nintendo Switch Online has a bunch of bonus stages that were, the only way you could unlock them, you had to purchase these cards. And then you would use this reader, kind of almost like an amoeba, but it was like a card. And it was these handcrafted levels that, it's almost like a second game. And yeah, it's like in the world of Mario 3. So, they've made it so you have access to those levels. So that, that is something I do want to check out. It's a battle one, so, prepare for death! It's modest, so it's it shouldn't be too bad. <sighs> okay. But, you know, I'm I'm open to suggestions. Like if people have things in particular they would like to see me do, like feel free to to reach out. Ooh, it's the big axe. That's cool. went bad. Mm 
little too early on it. Shit. Okay, careful. Oh, that was close. Ah, oh, shit, I jumped. I didn't parry. Alright, that's an increase in death. Eh, I mean, it's fine. It's bound to happen. Okay. I still have my weapons, right? Yeah, it's fine. Elden Ring is also getting a DLC that hasn't uh, doesn't have a release date, so I will go back to Elden Ring at some point. Not sure if it'll happen this year necessarily. I wanna. There we go. That's the one. All right. Oof, that was close. Stop crouching. Get it right. Uh oh. Ah, too close. Damn it. I'm so impatient for the dodge. It's such a... a slow swing. Okay. I need to- I need to be more patient for the dodge. to go for it now. Alright, that worked. Shit. Ah! I was trying to make sure it didn't regenerate health. Just buying myself a few more seconds. It's alright, this is training. What? <laughs> what? Why? What was that? It just shot me immediately? I'll never bring a sword to a gunfight, apparently. <laughs> have, have you seen Indiana Jones just... You'll know what scene I'm talking about, but you know. The fucking scene where just Indiana Jones just turns around and shoots that guy. <laughs> That's all that was. Ugh. 
Oh, man, I can't believe that just happened. Oh, fuck off. You wanker. That's what I've been trying to do, but it's a, I'm just not patient with the timing. Oh shit. Ooh. Okay, I'm safe. Uh, that's about to break. Why are you so far away? Okay. Next. Hmm. I thought that was gonna work. Okay. Yeah, well, different strategy. I know what to do, though. Okay, it's going down this time. Can't get the timing down. Ah, oh, what? <laughs> Link's body is so kept spinning. Fuck! Damn it! 
almost. One, I think one or two more hits and would have gone into the uh, the final desperation move. But that's that's what I need to do. Exactly what I did there. Ah, <laughs> uh, well, I mean, I did a good job keeping the deaths down yesterday, but it seemed like today. <laughs> Stop doing that! Okay. <sighs> Alright. Here's what I'm gonna do. I'm pulling out... What have I got? I got an attack elixir. I'm pulling out an attack elixir. Because I can get these fairly easily, just keep giving beetle stuff. No biggie. Fucking. That's fine. Um, hold on. Okay, equip. I thought it was about to do the spin thing, but we're okay. Why does it keep doing that? <laughs> I also keep accidentally pressing my analog stick in. So it crouches. I thought the lasers only come out when you're in a medium to long range. Like, why is it doing it point blank? What do you mean? <laughs> How? I got too greedy there. That was my bad. I was hoping that I could get the hit in and get the stagger. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. Well, fuck me then, huh? Might have to swap to. The, although this is a this is a thirty six should be okay. Okay, here we go. I got this. Ah. Victory. I mean, worth it because I got a better shield than a 45, so definitely worth it. I died quite a few times. <laughs> Death count went up, but... Okay, hold up. Drop the low value bow. Well, that was fun. Having a drink of water to wash down the salt that's like in the back of my throat right now. You know, another Harrison Ford reference you could make is, like, this shrine was the plane, and that thing was like, get off my plane. But I think the Indiana Jones shooting, uh, the bad guy immediately. <laughs> I love the story behind that scene as well, is because they were all sick. They got food poisoning or something and wanted to wrap up filming, so they had something else planned and instead decided to do that. I wonder... Oh, there we go. Yeah, I thought so.
Hey, it didn't make the sound. I think at this point it's probably better just to go down instead of trying to climb back up. Eggs. What's the best way to have eggs? I mean, I'm... I'm a scrambled person. <laughs> Just... Particularly if you do, like, a chili scramble thing, they're great. Though, lately some, some of the cafes I've gone to, they do eggs benedict and they're pretty good. Scrambles with potatoes and ketchup, yeah. See? That's good. I mean, the, there's like, the, a lot of places have the big breakfast where you get eggs made your way, bacon, um, and then you just pick a bunch of stuff, but like avocados on toast with feta cheese and lemon is usually something I go with. And they do grilled mushrooms as well. They're pretty good. A mix of that and then scrambled eggs with chives. That sounds good. It is. That's my go-to if I go catch up with someone and have coffee in the morning. Go have some breakfast at a cafe and, yeah, have that. I think the only thing you might disagree with is, is the bacon. Not the concept of bacon, it's just how we do bacon. It's not like American style cooking with bacon. It's like ham. Yeah, yeah, it's treated like ham. It's it's not crispy. Some places do crispy bacon, but in general it's more just like a has more of a ham consistency to it. It's still bacon, it's just... It's still bacon, it's just not cooked that way, that's all. It's not... To be clear, it's not ham, and we call it bacon. It's still a cut of bacon. It's just not prepared in that way, where it ends up super crispy. It's so good. Uh, I had it once. It's it's all right. Ooh, that's a rare one. Can I get a photo of it? Was it the right way? Well, I mean, I didn't really have an American to like do a peer review on it, so not sure. But I mean, it's it was good. It was good. Just... I wouldn't say that it, it has, like, a massive lead over the way that we usually have it in Australia. I mean, this is more of the southern area, but it's fine. Much prefer back bacon to streaky bacon, but it still needs to be a little bit crispy. I mean, you get a little bit of crisp, but it's not to the extent of how Americans do crispy bacon, whereas, like, it, it is truly, truly crispy.
I also realized there's there's another word like <laughs> Someone tripped out when I didn't say the word peppers when referring to peppers cuz in Australia we we don't call it peppers we don't call them peppers They didn't know what I was talking about. <laughs> and then I remembered. I was like, oh right. That's they don't they don't say it like that. Uh, we say a capsicum. Uh... So it'll either be like a green or a red. Cap C cum. C A P S I C U M. And that's a pep off. Yeah. I guess because there's pepper, like the spice. And it's just so not to conf cause confusion. confusion. Yeah, because you're used to saying pepper. I can cause much more confusion. It's like, you know, instead of saying potted plants, we say pot plants. There was an Australian garden celebrity that went on daytime, some daytime talk show in America, and uh, they were mortified when he was talking about having pot plants in his garden. What do we call flower? Chazwaza. Just kidding. Flower. <laughs> Isn't that from The Simpsons? Hey, someone got the reference. Uh, that's the thing about an Australian, is like, we can lie about stuff like that and sound perfectly 100% serious. That's why drop bears uh, are a thing. I mean, if we have something that has a weird name like that, odds are it's slang. There's also the, uh, like, you know, sandal, whereas in here uh, they call them thongs, and I know that, you know, thong, it means something completely different. I mean, if you really want to be bogan, that's like Australian redneck, they say plugger. If I was to say I broke my sandals, it would be, I busted me plugger. 
<laughs> Sounds horrible. See, that sounds made up, but it's not made up, I, I promise you. That's something that the majority of Australians wouldn't speak that way, but there is... There are, there are Aussies that talk that way. But I mean, other ones, uh, tradesmen are called tradies. Electricians are called sparkies. Carpenters are called chippies. Bricklayer, bricky. Breakfast is brecky. U-turn is Yui. Okay. I got one. If I was to say I was going to whoop whoop, what do you think I meant? Zoidberg? No, if I'm going to whoop whoop. I said whoop whoop, not whoop 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 whoop. Difference. Oh, there's a Hinox here. I'll mark it, but, you know, I'm not that interested in doing it. Job on the Zoidberg sound. I don't know. I don't know how. If if you were to ask me to do it again, I probably wouldn't be able to do it again. I just rolled with it and didn't really care if it was shit. I suppose I may as well go do that. It was good enough to be clearly recognizable. All right, I'll take it. I love how no one has an answer. <laughs> what the fuck does he mean by whoop whoop? I'm going to whoop whoop, chat. I'm going to whoop whoop. Nope. I only had dirty things in mind and better hold your mouth. <laughs> I mean, this isn't like... I, I know it kind of has the connotations of The Sims, because what is it in The Sims? It's... Damn it. I forget what it is in The Sims, but it sounds similar. It sounds similar. <laughs> Isn't that like woohoo or something? 
That's fine. You can be dirty here if you want. There's, there's no rule against it. Wouldn't be the first time. These things are so annoying. <laughs> it's just leave, leave me alone. <sighs> I'll give the answer once I'm done with the shrine. But you know, I'm going to whoop whoop. You already googled it, cheater. That's cheating. So, going to Whoop Whoop means you're going to the middle of nowhere. So if someone lives in Whoop Whoop, it means they live really far away. And the reason I was saying I'm going to Whoop Whoop is because this shrine is, like, pretty much in the middle of fucking nowhere. It's just, like, way off course. Cool? <laughs> Did it meet your expectations, or were you disappointed when it wasn't whatever, whatever dirty act you thought it was? Keep your mind out of the gutter. It makes sense. Really? You're the first to say that. I saw a bunch of Americans taking a quiz on trying to guess Australian slang and mannerisms. And... Three questions in, they got super frustrated with the answers that the strategy they just started to use was they thought they out of the options, they picked the stupidest answer and the stupidest answer was usually the correct one. <laughs> so also, this is a major test of strength, so deaths are going to go up. Had something else in mind, to be honest, I'm sure you did. Oh, yes! Okay, well... This is, uh, at this junction. That's a plus seven. We'll take the plus seven. And we're taking this. This is the first time I'm using it because this is an enemy worthy of it. Ooh. That's cheating. No, it's not. This is what I do. Do you think that this is going to make that much of a difference? All it does is it allows me to take one more hit. Like, I'm still completely... Yeah, see? See what I mean? <laughs> it's, it's just... It's one safety net. 
It really doesn't do that much for me. This is, you know, if you've ever played a game that has a hardcore setting, this is, this is a cheat death passive. One, able to cheat death once. next oh shit oh that's close Oh, you dick. Out of nowhere. That's not fair. That's not cool. Like, how am I supposed to predict that? There's no way to predict that. I mean... They did pretty well, all things considered. Okay. I mean, I could, could do that. Honestly, probably not a bad idea. Let's go. Mess him up. Out of whoop whoop, whoop whoop. It's with a P. Whoop whoop is like the sound of bass in, in a car. Whoop whoop whoop. See, I don't know why I didn't just do that. Valid strategy. Okay, now... Ooh. I thought it was doing the final phase thing. It was doing that again. Shit, I should have shot it. I thought it was ready to do the, the thing where it does the massive laser. Damn it. Almost had it. I'm doing better on this one. Okay. Uh, meat and that. It's okay. Alright, this is attempt number three, right? So it's not too bad. Grady. 
Oh. How am I how am I supposed to predict when it's gonna do that? <laughs> it's just it's this attack that just has such a low chance to come out, and it just screws me over. It's just like, well, okay. Guess I'm screwed now, huh? <sighs> okay. So that's pretty much the measure is like most things are doing seven hearts worth of damage to me. Okay, that's good. Good start. I mean, the thing is, Master Mode does mess with, like, radius stuff. And when things trigger, it, it does do that to make the challenge a little bit more crazy. So it makes things a little more unpredictable. Particularly with the Guardians and parrying. Fucking hell. I wouldn't be surprised if they alter these ones as well. Is this? Is this? Is this final? No, it isn't. Okay. This is final. This is final. Okay, here we go. So stressful. <laughs> Fucking hell. Yeah, I, I I pulled out I pulled out the big sword just immediately. Oh yes! <laughs> Victory. <laughs> and it was it was worth it. Like we got a, a plus plus sword as a a plus plus sword, a plus plus spear. And a plus plus axe. Let's go. Okay. Oh, that was so close. Look at that. Very nice. See, now I have the potential to fight Lionels. With this, this is what does it, pretty much. And I'm gonna mark this one because these are the ones. So the order is you go to Hinox's to steal weapons, and then using these weapons, you come fight these major tester strengths because they respawn. So you come back and you do these, and then you get these weapons, and then from there you can do whatever you want. That's that's how I, I play a master mode. Oh, it's climbing gear. Okay, well, I thought it was going to be a weapon. It's cool. Still good. Dude. <laughs> the clench. As as that sound effect started getting more and more high-pitched. Ugh. But not bad. I mean, this one took less than... Uh, 
than the previous one. Usually use the mediums test of strength against the major ones. Uh, but then you have to go through that process and you're more likely to burn weapons. The, the ones that you have from the Hinox are typically enough. And as long as you have one hard hitter for the end, it's generally okay. So that's, that's what I follow. You can do medium as well, but... I prefer, uh, hard. Anyway. To each their own in terms of strategy, so I'm marking that. This one is also, uh, yep. Hang on. I don't wanna, I don't wanna travel to it, I just wanna, just wanna drop a pin. Cause they, these are the ones that I'll know I'll get weapons off. Okay. You're a little surprised I don't remember the location of the good ones. Dude, the last time I played this was years ago. <laughs> and I, I've literally played maybe 50, 60 games since I last played this one. I wouldn't be surprised if it was more than that. Okay, I'm going to... Should I go back? Eh, I'll go back. Probably best to go along the coast anyway. It's one of those things that would be burned into my memory. Ah, uh, nah. Because I play just so much stuff and there's just other things that I guess prioritize in terms of keeping it into long-term memory. It's not like I played this game multiple times. It was it was once. If I play a game multiple times, then yeah, that's when I start remember finer details like Zelda 2, A Link to the Past, um, the original Legend of Zelda. Those are games where back of my hand I remember pretty much everything about those games. The other ones, it's just vague details, and sometimes there'll be a specific detail here and there. Right? But, in general, it's it's not. Because I, I just play a lot of stuff. A lot of stuff. I experience a lot of different media. Another one of those things as well. I remember what I do, like in terms of the major test of strength. It's just the locations. It's I have a vague idea. I'm not 100% certain, but it's not because it, it didn't get committed to memory. Like I just have, I just didn't do it enough. Maybe after this playthrough it'll be something that's more permanent, but... Yeah, for one playthrough and then... I've, I've gone through every single Zelda game <laughs> since then. You can't really control what your brain puts into long-term memory. Like, whilst 
I, uh... I don't have this in long-term memory. I certainly have other things that are not useful. I read the autobiography of, uh... Some local radio show... Uh, personality. He was a comedian. It was an interesting dude, and... I got the book for free. So, you know, I was a kid, bored, I read the book. And in that book, there was an anecdote about, um... How the guy got some song stuck in his head. And the song was, you know, Centifold, um, by J. Giles. Or G. Giles, whatever the band is. The point is, uh, one day... A few friends were having a debate, and they were talk. They were talking about how, you know, one of them swear that they knew the song where the it was like na 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 na, and some of the other ones didn't believe. And then immediately I was like, oh yeah, I know the name of that song. It's it's uh, Centerfold. And sure enough, that was the song. And I it's not because I remembered the song. It's in, instead, my brain kept an anecdote from an obscure 1990s Australian radio personality. I knew the song from that, not the song itself. So I retained this stupid anecdote from some random book that no one's read. The brain is, is a weird thing. It's like sometimes you can get it to keep the information you want. Sometimes it's like, oh, okay, why is this here? And I guess that's the concept of trivia as well, is like, the concept of trivia is pretty much using shit like that <laughs> and trying to win the, at a game. It's like, things that you wouldn't think was handy. Seagull. Oh, that's a different one. Uh, I don't even have the... <laughs> right, because the blue ones are annoying to take a photo of. I don't have a photo of the blue one. And these are... These have to be the mini talus. Otherwise it wouldn't do that. Yeah, I should probably stay away from here. Chat, in terms of useless information, in in the in the nineteen nineties, there there was this competition that McDonald's Australia ran, where like I don't even remember what the prize is, but they made you say some some limerick, and then if you said it, you got something, and I forgot what it was, but it was food related. But I still have the the fucking thing that you were supposed to say to the cashier in my head. I don't know what it got me. Just, I have it there. It's there. It's part of a triple cheeseburger, I think. Don't know what, what it would have gotten you. But, yeah, it's there. It's sealed away. Brain was like, yep, this is important. Crazy, you're crazy. Mm. 
Okay, I didn't want to wake it up, but that's fine. <laughs> oh, yes! Hey, you want to talk about memories? Let me tell you about the time I ate 40 tons of garlic. Oh, yes! It's in the bathroom for over 30 hours later. Needed 20 scented candles. I don't know what, what, what am I doing? What am I saying? <laughs> ah. The midnight brain kicks in. You ever suck on a bulb of garlic? Oh, yes! Delicious! Filter shut down. Uh, I mean, I don't have too much of a filter. The only filter I, I employ as of late is just trying not to say the C word. Because YouTube punishes videos that says it. Or at least says it often. Once or twice, I think, is forgivable, but. Cucumber. Yeah, cucumber. Let's go with that. YouTube doesn't like cucumber. I mean, the subtle way to say it is see you next Tuesday. Okay, uh, I'll head back to the coast and walk along it. You know, given that I had to fight a couple things, the death count is, is pretty modest. At least the increase. Could have been a lot worse. The Heart Mountain. There's Broken Heart Mountain as well. There's a quest associated with it, but I can't remember what you do.
I think someone... I think there's... It's like a story of lovers and then they... They end up on the love mountain or something. I can't remember. Please, no. Okay, I have to deal with this, so it's good. Hang on. Not electric. There we go. That always has to be dealt with, otherwise I die. Somewhere here. Hey. Was this view? Oh, you know what? I keep forgetting. Yep. This was viewable on the map. I need to go over the map and mark stuff that's obvious. Sometimes you'll be able to see things. See, that's too far up. Oh, see, there's one. Haha, -ha, there's one. Korok. Three trees in a row. I think that's enough for now. I thought I'd be able to see more. Nuggies arrived. <laughs> nice. Where do you usually get them from? Slash how many? Where is stone? There is stone. Ha! <sighs> Alright, I can't go up that way. Too steep. How many is that? 162. Alright. Okay, okay. Arby's? Ah, we don't have Arby's here. Nine piece is an interesting uh, number of them. But you know what? I think that's a good count. Because here it's 6, 12... And then, depending on the place, it's either 20 or 21. KFC does 10, I believe, as well, but... 
And McDonald's, for some reason, does four. Yeah, those, those are the nugget sizes. <laughs> yeah, four, I, I don't understand. I think they intend it to be for children. But the, there's a... There's a four pack. I think they do it as like a, let's say you get a, a meal and you're like, man, I could go for some, some nuggies, right? Then it's just like, you get a four pack. It's like a little upsell. I think that's the reason they have it. Oh. Why, hello. I certainly didn't expect to see anyone else up here. Oh. How fortunate to cross paths with you again. Did you come to the sea? This oddly shaped rock pillar we're standing on is the subject of a song. Would you like to hear it? Oh. As you wish. Ahem. An ancient hero spoke these words. One day I'll return to fight evil. My cache is at 17 of 24. This rock will point to its retrieval. Mm. My cache? Could it be a hidden stash of money? It was left by the ancient hero that defeated Calamity 10,000 years ago. Must be a big amount. Good luck figuring it out. May the light illuminate your path. Um, yeah, about that. What was it? it was like 15 out of 24. Yeah, stood again. Seventeen or twenty-four, so at five PM Um in game. Mm. Yeah, about that, like what how do I see the in game time? Isn't there a way to see it without the HUD? Do you really, do you really need the HUD to see it? This is the only time you'll see me do this. It's 4.30. Okay, so, I mean... Let me see how long it takes. 6.40. It's going to be a while, but I think... Let me see if I can do this. Okay, hold on. Don't move. Okay, and now... Uh, till noon? I'm not sure what time night time starts. It could be five. This is closer, but it's still going to take a while. I think it's five. Is it five minutes? Hang on. I think it's it's five minutes, like five, five seconds equals five minutes on the clock. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of worried if I do this again, it's going to go past it. Does anyone know what, what time, if you sleep, if you hang out a campfire till nighttime, what time it is in game? I mean, at this point, I should probably just wait. <laughs> I 
I might have to just wait. It's already 1 p.m. I love how Link's idle animation is like, yeah, check out the muscles. Yeah, I'm just gonna wait. It's fine. We'll listen to Cass. Sometimes they also do party packs, so you can get 40 chicken nuggets in a pack. But I mean, that's like if you want to have a, a feast. Can't handle more than nine pieces. Fair enough. I mean, that one's definitely that one's definitely more than one person. It's you know, you have people over and people are feeling like they want chicken nuggets, so. Nugget party. <laughs> I don't know what else to do. I'm just running around in a circle. But uh, we'll wait out the minute. This is just going to point in the direction. And you know what? I remember this being kind of anticlimactic in terms of what's in the chest, but. Ah. It's fine. We wait! It's only another minute, I think. Mm -mm. Okay. Nearly time. I'll turn this HUD off the moment. The moment this stops. I don't know, I don't- I don't get this song stuck in my head, like I don't even pay attention to it. It's kind of white noise. Where is this gonna point? The tower. It's the sh tower's shadow. Which at this point I, I can deduce it. It's not like it's a special beam of light, it'll be the tower's shadow. Alright, so it's... Let's see how. It's here. Alright, so all I have to do is just... Head in this direction. Alright. Uh, let's go back to... Pro. I'm not sure how far away it is. Oh. The fuck? Well, that's, uh, yep, that's certainly something I couldn't have figured out on my own. 
Okay, you know what? That's that's fine. I'll take that. That's fine. It'll let me buy more arrows. I'll take that. I don't want to skip over. Well, it's, it's off in the distance now. I mean, I'll go around. Ah. Uh, I mean, I guess I should go up this way. Not go to Hatino Beach. I'll go get that Korok over there, and then I'll, I'll backtrack. Because there's the path that leads to Hatino. There's also a quest here where I have to beat a bunch of enemies. Um, but... The problem is, it's just too annoying to beat. I'm gonna waste a bunch of weapons and it's not really worth it. <laughs> Definitely gonna save. Alright. Chicken nugget related question, which I think I know what answer I'm going to get, but I'll ask it nonetheless. Dipping sauce for nu chicken nuggets. What's, what's the sauce? The go-to. Honey mustard, okay. It's a good one. Crap. Can I salvage? Wait, hang on. Is this gonna work? Is this gonna get it out of there? No. Sadly, no. I mean, here, I kind of like, they have this... This kind of garlic aioli thing. Or there's like a spicy dipping sauce that's pretty good that I like. Oh, come on. I know it worked. Cool.
Especially when McDonald's does like the uh the spicy the spicy nuggets. Oh, 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 oh. that's somewhere I can go. That's somewhere accessible, it's nearby. We're getting it. <laughs> this This might be the first one I'm able to get. I was half expecting someone to say ranch. If you go to a Korean fried chicken place, like mustard dipping sauces are pretty common. Okay, where did it land though? It's Hopefully, ugh, it might be on high ground. I was going to come down this way anyway, but... I don't see the beam of light, so that's concerning. Oh, come on! Okay, just, just keep keep going, keep going. I have to find out where this dropped. It's definitely on high ground, otherwise I, I would probably see the beam of light by now. Where's the beam of light? <laughs> Where's the beam of light? Oh, where is it? Not now. I'm not seeing this yet. It fell in this direction. Did it fall in the ocean? No, come on. I should be able to see it now. It fell in this direction. I'm not going crazy, right? Like it was it was in this direction. It might be something where I won't be able to see it. Or it fell in the ocean and I'm just unlucky. I don't see it. <laughs> I don't see it. Where is it? I think it may have fallen into the ocean. Sad. I think I may have fallen in the ocean. I, I would I would see it a hundred percent up here. This is high enough. That's disappointing. Ah, okay. Well, I tried. <laughs> I can't win. It either falls somewhere where I go for it and then it disappears pretty much in front of my face or it falls somewhere that I can't actually get to.
Uh, okay. Ah, tea not time. Yeah, so cut across there and then look in here. Then head up this mountain. There's probably one or two on this mountain. Then come across to the beach. And then we'll do Mount Lanayru. There's a shrine over there somewhere as well, so... Mm -mm -mm. Hey, here we go. I think I see it. trying to hide. Wait, where did this one go? Ah, there. I think it just went around in a circle. First one that I've gotten. Birds usually signify something. Let me go up there. to oh okay yep it's pointing to the it is technically pointing to a, sh a shrine it's just i gotta do the high knocks thing this i'll do though it's just here oh wait i already done it <laughs> never mind i suppose i shouldn't be surprised there was no Nothing on the radar. an abandoned site. I'm 
surprised. been down that way. Uh, sort of. I mean, I'll go just check out that tree. It's probably nothing, but... Yeah, it looks like it's just the base. Yeah, let's not mess with this. <laughs> oh, oh, that scared the crap out of me. <laughs> How did I survive that? Uh, yeah, I'll take, we'll eat the apple. Yeah, no, no, we're not, we're not hanging around with those explosives. Bye. <laughs> oh, yeah, there's probably something here. Okay, let's look down. That one's already been acquired. What about here? Yeah, this is something. Bingo. What? What happened there? You know, one thing I was disappointed in was uh, seeing that the Octorok tentacles couldn't be used to make, like, calamari or something like that. Or like, uh... What's that Japanese dish? Takoyaki. Going up Heartbreak Mountain, which is this one here. I guess I didn't really run up that path. That's Yiga, right? Just don't trust random strangers.
I was purposely avoiding the Gerudo area, but now it's got to be on the lookout for Yiga. Wait, did I just... I made a wrong turn. <laughs> I'm aware that a lot of this can be solved by the minimap, but the, I still have to open it because you can't see the path of the hero on the minimap, and that's what I'm using to refer to where I should go next. So that's why I, I don't value it, because it's I'm not going to be relying on it. It's mainly the... The path of the hero. Because then I can see, okay, I've, I've covered this area pretty well in terms of searching for Koroks. Ooh, these are hearty. Yes, we would definitely want these. Okay, uh, I'm gonna mark this on the map. I don't think I need to do this. They're pretty peaceful fish. Wait, is this the turn that way? Okay, head straight this way. That'll lead me down to the beach. Game, please. It's just because there's a... Uh, yeah, this, this is what I was looking for. Sort of like an overpass area. Here. Just run. This is fine. Oh, yeah, this one's easy. Okay. Where is it? It is the corner. Sixty six. 
surprised that worked. <laughs> Usually Link is sliding all over the place. I think there's some dude that was looking for Love Mountain and then found Heartbreak Mountain or something like that. It's something along those lines. And then I think later that matters for like the... the town. That you have to build. Something like they want to get married and then they end up in the town getting married. Something like that. And then the, one of the Zora officiates. Yeah, there you are. Yeah. You're here to meet your soulmate too? That's right. Uh... Yeah, same. There's just one problem. Nobody's shown up yet. I thought this was Sweetheart's Pond everyone talks about, but maybe I'm in the wrong place. Yeah, you're on Heartbreak Hill. It's bigger than a hill, but... HH. I don't think there's anything else here. just being thorough, but I think that's all there is for this mountain.
Oh no, there's a, there's a black spot, okay. Maybe it's something. I'm not pressing anything, chat. Uh, yep. Nintendo controllers. Yep. Oh, yeah. It's great. It's great that, uh, you know, controller drift isn't a widespread issue with Nintendo controllers. Sure glad they cleared that up. <laughs> Drifting to whoop whoop. Yeah. Whoa. Hey, don't you see? It, it, it's a special feature. The game is leading me in the right direction. It clearly wants Link to walk into the ocean. Game, please. Okay, but I did get that one already. So I'm just checking this upper shelf here. Oh, you know what? I didn't do the bundle of wood thing. Kind of left it <laughs> to get 30 bundles of wood, but I don't have the money, so that's why I didn't do it. Okay, I'm gonna cut across. Alright, we're gonna look around here a bit more. Imagine if it was, it was that easy to get a house. Oh. That house costs a lot of money. Don't worry, bring me 30 bundles of wood and then I'll reduce the price to something affordable. I'll go down to Hatino Beach, and then I guess it's up. Going to the cold. Sometimes this game just wants me dead. Oh no, this is a good this is this is a good move. This is a good move. There's a Korok up here that I haven't gotten. Oh. There's two Koroks up here that I haven't gotten. I don't know if this counts. Does this count? Hang on. Because he does a dive animation. I think it counts. Oh, 
want to want to jump. Oh, it worked. That's certain. I mean, it could be a lot easier. Okay, uh, temporary equipping of this. Okay, so there's multiple here. Ha! <laughs> Fluke. I guess as long as it does the diving animation, it doesn't matter. This is the one that I came here for, but I got a bonus... Two. Saving, just in case. <laughs> okay. Wait, did I save? Just save. Okay. One sixty nine. Wind, please. No, no, what are you doing? I was half expecting like a, oh, nice, 169. The bats. The case. They scared the beetle away. I guess I'm... Oh, we're near... Wait a minute. Okay. The the memory is here or here. I'm close to the memory spot, so that's good.
guess I should climb this mountain. Hang on, where am I? Yeah, okay, so this is... Yeah, we're, here, we're properly in Lanayru now. Spot I didn't see on the map. It's okay. <laughs> nice troll. This is the real one. I wonder if uh, the Talos and the Goron are related. Because they're both kind of stone creatures. Or are they maybe maybe a thing that would a Goron eat a Talos? Like the Goron is the Talos's natural predator. Or Peblets. I think these ones are called Peblets. Hinox. Okay, there's a Hinox here. Dude. Hinox, which is getting weapons. <laughs> I mean, there's so much we don't know about the Gorons, like... How did how do they come into the world, you know? How do they begin to exist? How are they born? Because in this game they almost look like they have belly buttons. Magic. <laughs> They're just born from rocks. But they eat rocks as well. I mean, see, at least the Zora, it's understandable. It's, you know, it would be whatever the rules of fish. They're like a fish species, so it, it makes sense. You can figure it out. But the Gorons... So, uh, 1 a.m. thoughts.
there's a Korok there. I think the easiest way to get this one is just to leap off here. And then just purposely uh, lose stamina in the water. So then it resets my position. Oh my god, I missed. How did that- no, come on. How did that miss? What do you mean that missed? How did that miss? <laughs> what? I, I don't believe that. Don't accept it. Okay. Try again. Course correct until I'm certain. This is certain, right? It's not. Oh! <laughs> I missed again. How do I keep missing? Are my eyes just tired? <laughs> I missed again. Confidence. There we go. <laughs> There's probably more along here, but I don't want to ditch high ground just yet. <laughs> Have to go meet with friends. Maybe you can teaser the Nuggy Party idea. <laughs> I mean, float it. That sounds like a good time. But yeah, thanks for hanging out, Masai. Have a good uh, afternoon, evening, hang out, and yeah, see you next time. Do I want to go further down there? Hmm. I'll just go across, it's fine. If there was anything here of interest, I would have found it already. Lanero Dragon hasn't turned up either. I don't think I'm going to get to my 200 goal. <laughs> But, I mean, I've, I've found 50 tonight. That's pretty decent. I guess I was expecting more in this area.
There has to be one up here. At least one. Unless I've already been up here. No, I haven't. Okay. I would be shocked if there's nothing up here. Why isn't it making the sound? Oh wait, I think I got this one. Okay, hang on. Let's just... Delete that. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I think I'm just following the same path. Okay. There's definitely more around the central area, but for now, I'm just gonna run up this side. Okay, there's the arch. The entry. And there is a Lionel here. It's a blue one. I suppose... Ooh. Is this really where the memory happens? No. Let me see. It might be the other end. No, it should be here. It should be here. Because the mountain's in the distant. Distance. It should be around here. There it is. What I love about these recalls is just the look of... You know, it's supposed to be a look of surprise, but with the Korok mask it just looks stupid. <laughs> It's funny. Wait for it. <laughs> it's so dumb. in suspense? How'd everything go up there on the mountain? Hmm. Alright, she can't draw out her power. Anything? No power at all. I'm sorry now. Then let's move on. You've done all you could. Feeling sorry for yourself won't be of any help. After all, it's not like your last shot was up there on Mount Lanayru. Anything could finally spark the power to seal Ganon away. We just have to keep looking for that... thing. That's kind of you. Thank you. If I may... I thought you... well, 
I'm not sure how to put this into words. I'm actually quite embarrassed to say it. But I was thinking about what I do when I'm healing. You know, what usually goes through my mind. It helps when I think... when I think about... It's only when you get to the Rita area that you kind of find out that uh, Ravioli is a bit of a dick. This is it, then. Are you sure? Positive. It's awake. Ganon. Let's stop wasting time. We're gonna need everything we got to take that thing down. Now, champions, to your divine beasts. Show that swirling swine who's boss. Link will need to meet Ganon head-on when we attack. This needs to be a unified assault. Little guy. You get to Hyrule Castle. You can count on us for support, but it's up to you to pound Ganon into oblivion. Come, we should go. We need to get you someplace safe. No, I'm not a child anymore. I may not be much use on the battlefield, but there must, there must be something I can do to help. I will say that her, her look and tears of the kingdom is going to be much better. <gasps> Yay, memory. Okay. Yeah, that's not what I wanted to do. Map. Okay, I'm going to turn around and head to Kakariko. Because maybe now I'll be able to do the thing with, uh, the shrine that- the bowl. Hopefully. I think I'll- yeah, go along here. And then when I'm coming back to head to, you know, the peak, I'll... I'll head through the middle. And hopefully that should cover enough ground. I guess I have been here a little bit. Alright, down this way. This... Hmm. Could be something. Depends if there's a boulder. Doesn't seem like there is. Yeah, it's nothing. It looks similar to the one um, at Twin Peaks. I mean, there's still a chance, like, if there's a boulder and the Korok sound goes off, then that's what it is. There's a Hinox here. Ooh, this one might... Oh, wait. 
Yeah, yeah. Okay, I have been here. But there should be a Korok then. Oh, crap. Nope. Oh, this sucks. I hate electric case. Okay, it's fine. Just just run. Just run. Don't worry about it. <laughs> really? I just saw that one... <laughs> Appear out of thin air. Okay, go this way. What what is happening? Why why are there so much keys? They just seem to be appearing out of thin air. Oh. I think this is the one where I have to tame the, the buck. This looks familiar. Game, please stop. <laughs> Enough of the electric case. I see them appearing out of thin air. So, still head this way. Assuming this is the one. I think this is the one. No need, no need for song cast. I, I, I got this. Something about the king and the crown. I got a friend.
Okay, I guess before. Mesalor. If I do go in there. Hopefully this is one of these ones that you are already worthy. Well done. Nope. <laughs> Not worthy. What has Meza got in store for us? Ancient Trifecta. Okay, see, we could do that. We could. I, I see you there. I really do. No, come on. I can get I can get on top of that. I mean to be fair, this is probably not that hard to solve, but laziness. There we go, thank you. Okay, and now... And just make sure it's smack bang in the middle. There we go. Donezo. <laughs> thank you, Octorok Balloons. That is indeed resourceful. I will take I will take that compliment. Okay. I mean, there's probably still a few Koroks around here. I know there's one to the right. Yeah, let's just let's just do this con concisely. Be thorough. I'm gonna go with Owl. I'm still alive. Yeah, I mean, it's Friday. It's fine. Making progress. Okay, it's on top of one of these trees. Okay, this is Iron Shroom Central, so we are marking this. 
ingredients here. I don't know which tree it is. Oh, it's that tree. Ah, shit. I can probably still make it. Yeah, as you can see, the number of deaths has uh, gone up quite a bit. But not too badly. Could have been worse. Lionel? No. I did a couple of shrines that were tests of strength. One of them was a major test of strength. And they have this laser shot that's just kind of annoying. But, you know, I'm pretty decked out in terms of weapons. So if I wanted to take on a higher tier Lionel, I can now. What tier are the zebra ones? Uh, second highest. Gold is, it's, what is it? It's red, blue, uh, white, and then gold. Oh wait, I think there's a black one in there actually somewhere. Red, bl red blue, black, white, gold. I believe is like the, the scaling in enemies, regardless of enemy type. Yeah, the one on the Great Plateau is the Zebra one. The one at, um, Lanayru, like here, that one's a blue one. Forgot to mark it. Yeah, it's been top comedy with the amount of rain I've had today, but it's calmed down. I've, I've had in-game collectively, like, uh, I'd say two hours worth of rain. If not more. The amount of rain in the game is so unnecessary, yeah. They really needed to put a way for you to be able to climb in the rain eventually. Like, I get it. Oh, at the start, fair enough, but... The climbing set, when I saw that, I was like, yo, I bet the, the set bonus for this is going to be can climb in the rain. So I focused on upgrading it, and then nah, nothing. <laughs> it's just... Oh, more stamina, okay. So one thing I hope they address in Tears of the Kingdom, either make it not rain as much, or give us a way to uh, be able to climb in the rain eventually. Not right away. It's fine if it's not right away. Have us earn it, that's fine. Give significance to an armor.
And, uh, wait. That's probably a Yiga. Yigas are attacking me, despite not going to Gerudo. So that's fun. There it is. Game, please. Game, please. Stop time. works, yeah. That's how I've always done it. <laughs> it's the very first thing I tried when I came across one of those, like, you know, when I played it the first time. I was like, hmm, wonder if stasis works. Oh, cool, it does. No need for archery skills. Were well, you laughing because you thought it didn't work? Come on. This one's just running around, isn't it? No? Okay, where is this one? Ah, oh, it's just- Hey! Grab rock. <laughs> the prompt wouldn't come up. There we go. Pretty good amount of Koroks found today. That looks awfully suspicious. Just anything that's in a specific arrangement. Okay, I guess I'll drop to the lower shelf now. And then head into Kakariko. And hopefully Impa will, uh... Oblige with the the orb, the ball, whatever. What you've seen online is people creaming their pants over the new trailer. Yeah, I watched it a couple of times. And people are attacking their previous comments. Yeah. The, the thing is, the, the comments, it's not like they weren't valid. Because Nintendo's done that in the past sometimes. Is They won't show something because they know something's up. And it's lacking. Like with Mario Maker 2, I remember that they didn't really show everything, and it was because a lot of stuff that Mario Maker 1 had wasn't going to make the cut. Like they were removing features. I mean, they added stuff, which was great, but it was one of those things where, no. Concern. One thing I didn't notice when watching the trailer was that 
so, um, enemies are gonna ride Stone Talus. When Link, when there's like Link riding this ma this structure that's like a, a tank or something, like a a, ba a makeshift tank, the thing he was fighting was a bunch of bokoblins on this wooden structure on top of a a talus. <laughs> that's just insane. I can't imagine how that fight's gonna go. So there were a few details that I, I guess I missed because it was it was like uh it was a pretty big overload of information. It was just bam, 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 like one thing to the next. Wonder how the game is gonna be for someone like you who has no imagination. I think you'll be surprised. Like, everyone has an imagination, it's just to what extent. If you didn't have an imagination, you wouldn't be able to perceive certain things. Everyone has an imagination to some extent. have no creativity i guarantee that you do i i've had people who are programmers say that because i do graphic design and programming they're like i don't do i don't do creativity it's like i i could prove to you that you do it's just one of those things that creativity comes from practice and um i mean if you study graphic design theory like particularly gestalt principles that's where a lot of creativity stuff comes from. And then the rest of it is like lateral thinking. It's a mix of all that shit. But art in particular is like... Don't get me wrong, I don't want to oversimplify it and say, you know, there are people that aren't talented. However, anyone has the capability to make art. It's just... Practice and then knowing how people interpret images. Do you want me to prove to you in, in five seconds that you have creativity and an imagination? I can prove it very quickly. Okay. Give me a sec. I'll, I'll get a couple, just in case you don't recognize them. Alright, three should do. You should reckon, you should be able to pass this. Okay. Alright. So, I'm gonna put a few images on the screen, and you tell me what they are. One sec. Alright. What is this? What does this represent? The Simpsons. There you go, you're creative. It's not The Simpsons. This is five blocks with different colors arranged on a screen. You're using your creative mind to Fill in the blanks. You see Homer on the far left. You're adding all this extra detail that isn't there. You're the one doing that. Your brain's doing that. You're capable of creativity or thinking creatively. I'll give you another one. This is a very clever advertising campaign, by the way, by Lego. Like, it's really good. What about this? This one's small, but you should be able to recognize it. South Park. Yep. But it's not. It's just a bunch of rectangles. They have no detail. Your brain is filling in the details. What was the ad campaign? The ad campaign was 
It was just si simply showing that Lego is a world of imagination. It's like, you can take the simplest creation, which is just... Look at Cartman. It's, it's four pieces of Lego. And then to a child, to an adult, they use their creativity, and it becomes something more. It becomes something that's either like a past memory or something that is beloved to them. Or maybe it's just, you know, they imagine stuff like, oh, this is a car. You, you make the disconnection where you uh, stop seeing it as just Lego pieces. You see it as something more detailed. And the fact that you are picking up that, you know, you're not telling me that these are blocks. You're not telling me that these are pieces of Lego. No, your brain is going, this is Cartman on the left. And you can see that it's Cartman. Your brain is doing all that creative legwork. And all you need to know, all you need to be able to do is learn how to tap into that. Everyone has this. It's a human thing. All right. Thanks for listening to my TED talk. We can continue the game. This is, I, I make this speech every time I come across a programmer that like has the cop out. I can't do design work. I can't make things look nice. You can, you have the capability. Everyone does. You just got to learn to hone it and learning to hone it. It's not an easy thing, but you're capable of it. Everyone is. If you weren't, you wouldn't be human. Whether you're a child or an adult, it doesn't matter. Everyone does this to some extent. But if you're interested, go check out, like, the, you know, the LEGO Minimalist ad campaign. It's, uh, very good. They have a bunch of different examples, but it's the same premise is just it's a series of blocks it's the most simple construction you can make with lego and yet you see it as something more complicated and more advanced and that's essentially what the magic of lego is is like you know these blocks becoming something more than just blocks and it doesn't matter if you're a child it doesn't matter if you're an adult it's a universal thing Your school never had an art program, so you were definitely stunted in that regard. Yeah, it ultimately comes down to that as, like, does does someone facilitate that creative growth? And it's not always possible. And the other thing is, like, maybe you're not personally interested in it, and that's fine. But... The thing is, you have that capability. Everyone does. And to say that you're not creative, uh, I call bullshit. You can be cre you can- there's more to creativity than just art as well, like... Anyway, I don't want to go off on a, like, tangent about it, but... I have yet to meet a person that... <laughs> I show those images to and then they're like, what, they're just blocks. I don't know what you- why are you showing me blocks for? Why are you showing me Lego? There's definitely a- like, there are some people that have a talent for that stuff. I'm not talking about, you know, becoming the best artist in the world, or being someone that is the most creative in the world. That's not it at all. It's like, you have a capability to get somewhere with it. And, yeah, that foundation is there. You have a good mind for the practicality for your job. But, I mean, thinking on your feet is a form of creativity. It's like, maybe not, it's... It kind of takes a similar mentality, right? It's like you, you apply critical thinking and... sometimes being able to think on your feet like 
It's it's very similar. I'm not saying it's the only thing you need, but And I bet you've played games that are like sandbox or to some degree require some disconnect and where your imagination has to do shit. Like if you've ever played Minecraft, Roblox, Terraria, like anything remotely close to those, guess what? You're using creativity. Maybe not necessarily to create, but to uh, be able to consume the content. Otherwise, you would just be like, what the hell is this? I don't know what this is. Ah, oh, you know, there's no point in being up there. I just wanted to check. Let's go see Impa. We here we go. Got my first memory back. Now that you have seen some of the princess's memories, you must have started to remember certain things. Here, I will hand this over to you now before I forget. Oh, the tunic. Okay, not what I was expecting. This is something of yours that I have been keeping safe by request of the princess. This clothing was specially made for you when you became a champion. Please handle it with care. You may not remember your last meeting with Ganon, but it did not end well for you. Okay. I won't fail. Can I get back on the Great Plateau? There's more than- yeah, there's more than one way. You can actually climb up there, manually. Uh, the second way, but yeah. You can just climb back up because the walls have, uh, places where you can rest. But, you know, I went back and did a lap of it, so. With the exception of these areas, which I think are pretty empty. That's where the Lionel is. I should pr probably mark that as a reminder. Okay. But yeah, I went back there earlier today. Oh. Hmm. I mean, I know I have to follow the guards, because I remember standing behind them, it's just... Maybe I should rest now and see if it gets stolen. It gets stolen. You want to hit early because work? Yeah, that's fine. You got to load someone into a helicopter. Oh. I mean, you didn't miss out on much, except me getting murdered by a Yiga. I tried to take a photo of the Yiga, and the photo was a crotch photo. And then I died immediately after the crotch photo. But aside from that, it was just uh, getting Koroks and then... Eventually, I, I came across Test of Strength Shrines, so... That's pretty much it. Still not stolen. Hmm. Let's wait till night.
It gets stolen after the first beast. Ooh, you might be right. You might be right. I think this is this is the one shrine that I can't do. It's one of those things where I, I wish I could have done all the shrines, but there's one, I remember there was one where you had to go fight a beast to get it to happen. So it's like I can get 119 and then the rest of them happen later. So, oh well, it's fine. I thought maybe it would have happened with the memory, because said she wanted to give me something, and I thought, oh, maybe she tries to give me the orb and then it gets stolen, but it's just the champion's tunic, so... Okay. Bad luck. We'll get to that one last. really I mean I do remember what like I think you're right in general you have to do the Kakariko side quest okay then I'll go back I think you're right in general though there is one that is locked behind a divine beast because I remember being really disappointed that I couldn't do all the shrines because one of them is definitely locked behind a beast having to do a beast I don't remember which one but there's there's definitely one Okay, so I need to play hide and seek with the kid. Firefly. Ooh, I don't have that one. I've done the cuckoo quest. Done Impa's first quest. I've done two of Impa's quests. I've done the cooking one. I haven't done... Talk to a lady in- Ah, yeah, yeah, yeah. You're right. It's just getting a certain number of them, right? I've already collected a few, so let's just see. I think it's this one. She can't sleep or something. Lasley. Hey, who do you think you are? Don't you think it's rude to barge into a lady's room at night? Huh? Isn't that a Sheikah Slate? Could it be that you're the legendary swordsman Grandma told me about? The one from the Great Calamity? Huh? I thought you'd be a lot older. Honestly, it's hard for someone as young as me to imagine the Great Calamity. But judging by the look on your face, I suppose it's hard for you to imagine it too? Seriously? Well, I suppose there are a lot of crazy things in this world that are hard to grasp. Uh, my name is Lasley. I run a clothing shop in the area with my older sister, Clarie. You should stop by sometime. Okay, it's not this. Get in the house! <laughs> it's like a horror movie. The blood moon rises once again. Oh. I mean, process of elimination. These are these are stores. So it wouldn't be these. Yeah, I could have sworn that was the house, but I'm going to check the other ones. It's not this one. This is the chicken man's house. What about here? It could be a during the day thing. 
My wife, the mother of my children, she was killed by the Eagle Clan. That is why Coco now acts as Cutler's mother. If only I had been able to stop them. Yeah, this is sad. Yeah, it's possible it's a daytime thing, like an insomnia thing. Didn't s You know what? It's probably that. She didn't sleep well. She's not asleep, so... Oh good, more rain. She's not here. She says she runs the store, so maybe she's in the store. I didn't really set foot in the clothing store. Because I was like, clothing? Psh, I'm not getting clothing. No, there she is. Ah. It's possible it's the sister. Read. Okay. The lover's pond. Yeah, yeah, we've seen that. The fact that you show up out of nowhere and stark naked, no less, means you're likely a total- What? The fact that you showed up out of nowhere and stark naked, no less, means you're likely a total creep. But that's no business of mine. Anywho, we exclusively stock the special garments of the Clary collection. And I'm certain even someone like you, who has given up on clothes altogether, will find something you like here. In fact, that stealth chess guard over there is highly recommended. Oh, we also buy anything you don't need. Bye. How dare you call me a creep. I'm a creep. I'm a the hell am I to do? <laughs> it's not starting. I don't belong here. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, maybe it appears after doing more quests. I still have to do hide and seek or tag with the kid, so... Ah, crap, that one's out. I need five. I definitely have five. I've been catching them. Ah, <laughs> oh, ah, oh, ah! Oh, I have to use the in. Ah, are you her guest? I suppose so. Scared me half to death. I'll just go the regular bed. I'll go night. Maybe because I didn't get to know them? I don't know. Wait, if you get the water bed at Zora's Domain, you'll get a black screen with the sound of Link jumping on it. <laughs> I didn't know that. That's something that I I didn't believe existed. Wait, not neither of them are here. I would see them on TV. Or is this the, is this the right house? No, it's that one. 
My bad. Wrong house. Wrong house. Wrong house. It's this one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this one. There we go. They say the roads are dangerous at night, so I have come straight home without searching for fireflies. I miss them so much in the night sky. Now it's the same tired thing every night. I'm so sick of it. If only fireflies could come to play here, I could see them. Oh. That glowing. Could could it be you caught some? Show me, show me. Ah. Oh, do I just have to? I think I just have to hold them. Where are they? Yeah, I have 27. <laughs> oh, wow, look at those fireflies. Thank you, this is all I have to offer, but please accept it with my gratitude. They glow so prettily, it's magical. <laughs> You're pretty too. They don't live long. You're pretty too. Thanks. Smooth. Okay, let's go have a look now. You have to follow that guard there. One of them leaves their post. I forget at what time. Yeah, there we go. Who did this? I can't believe this. No, it's there. It's already here. Link. I swear I only took my eyes off it for a second. What should I... What should I do? What's wrong? The Sheikah heirloom. The heirloom has been stolen! And just when I had finally discovered the heirloom secret. The hero, as chosen by the Sheikah heirloom, will be gifted the blessing of antiquity. Paya thinks the hero, as chosen by the Sheikah heirloom, is you. So she stayed up all night researching the heirloom. She came to the conclusion the blessing of antiquity refers to one of those ancient shrines. And that the heirloom is the key that opens the shrine. And just before we were able to tell you this, the thing is stolen. I had been cleaning the heirloom regularly every day from morning till dusk. Someone must have stolen it during the deepest hour of the night. This place is off limits to outsiders, and no one from the village would do such a thing, would they? Okay. Someone with evil intent came into the sacred place. I'm glad Grandmother is safe, but I still feel so... violated. Link, Pyre is afraid that the thief may still be nearby. Would you please stay by her side today? Master Link, thank you for staying by my side for the whole day. I see now that crying and feeling scared won't help us get the heirloom back. I checked with Dorian and Cardo, but they said they didn't see anyone other than villagers around. I'll try again to remember all I can about the night the heirloom was stolen, but the thief may still be hiding nearby. I have a bad feeling, but if you spot anything suspicious, movement at night, don't approach. I love how that's in red. Okay. So, I have to eat stealth food the moment I see it. What? I have to make it night time. Okay, hold on. Uh, sit till night. Oh, it was almost night time. And then I'm gonna eat stealth food. It was an inside job. Nope. 
nobody knows. It's not that... It's not that person, right? Am I wrong? It's the guard? I thought it was the guard. <laughs> I think it's the one I bumped into. Oh, there we go. Okay. Um, mission start. I mean, with this, I can just walk. That would have worked under any other circumstance. Yeah. Oh, what's that, Rain? <laughs> How could they? How could they what? Be careful, this is the part that's a little crucial. Take the high road. Sure is quiet out here. Sure, sure is boring around here. You didn't hear anything. Don't lie. Show yourself. There's no one here. There we go. I know you're there. Show yourself. Oh, crap. You don't have to shout. I'm right here. So you're the ones who stole the heirloom. At such anger. It seems this thing is truly special to the fools of this village. Why would you steal it? Don't play dumb, Dorian. You knew what you were getting yourself into when you decided to leave the organization. You forfeited your life the moment you left. <laughs> you did well to tell us about the heirloom. Unfortunately, your usefulness has come to an end, as must you. But first... It appears we have an audience. Save. Yeah. <laughs> uh, no. Oh shit. <laughs> Died. 
that should have... It wasn't a death, technically. I don't want to waste a weapon on this asshole, but I guess I kind of have to. Hey, the sword! I want the sword. Spears are great. <laughs> I can't believe I was being followed. I'm sure you figured it out, but all of this is my fault. There's no point in trying to hide it. I am a member of the Yiga clan, or I used to be anyway, but then I met the most incredible woman who blessed me with two children. And so I tried to change my ways, tried to leave the clan. But the Yiga, they took my wife's life as punishment. I couldn't let them hurt my children, so I used my position as gatekeeper to gather information for the Yiga. I told them about you and about the village in exchange for safety. But my grief over losing my wife consumed me I finally decided to cut ties with the Yiga completely. I decided I could protect my children from the Yiga. I wasn't afraid of them. But the Yiga are pure evil. They told me that they would kill both Impa and Paya if I didn't play along. Paya figured out that this heirloom is the key to opening an ancient shrine. We weren't able to make it work, but Paya thinks that maybe you can. Paya and all of us are devoted to helping you in your quest. Now please, restore this heirloom to its pedestal. So you know how this works then. <laughs> you told me what you told me what to do. So you know how this works then. Despite saying you didn't know how it worked. I guess they couldn't get it to work. They knew how it worked, but for some reason it didn't work for them. I guess I guess that's what it is. Maybe they did put it in the spot and nothing happened. It's possible that it only reacts to the hero. Like, if it, were, if it were to give the plot the benefit of the doubt. The shrine! So the heirloom was the key to opening the shrine. Incredible. Master Link, I... I'm very sorry for all of this. I know it's a selfish request, but, you, but could you... <laughs> do you think you could keep what happened a secret? I truly don't deserve mercy, but I don't want my children, Coco and Kotla, to suffer anymore. I know it doesn't make up for what I've done, but I pledge to protect the village and my family from now on. No matter the cost. Are we already worthy? That is the question. I do find it weird that the Yiga have the same symbol that's on the floor. Oh, or a similar one, anyway. I am Lakna Rookie. Rocky. Lakna Rocky. Already worthy. Aren't they just defected Chica? I think they're, they're just people that decided to follow Ganon from what I remember. Not sure if they were Chica specifically, but maybe. Um, wait, what sword was it? Let's say... Oh, Edge of Duality. Yeah, these swords suck. I'll get it just to take a photo of it. Hero rises to right the wrongs of Hyrule. Okay. 
That's different. Nothing about resourcefulness. Okay. Thirty. <laughs> they are shaker. Okay. Mm -mm. So one quarter of the way. I don't think it correlates to one quarter of the Korox, but one quarter of the way nonetheless. I'm gonna be inside this hole here. <laughs> okay. It is uh it is late. So, I'm gonna wrap it up here. It's a good number to stop on. Number 30. And, uh, I mean... I did a lot today. Next time, gonna head into Mount Laneru. And all the fun that that involves. And then, I guess, head north and continue here. So, it's going well. Yeah, that's right. I remember reading that the Sheikah built the machines and then they were labeled as a threat. And so, you know, they saw the general public as fools and swap sides. Just, I guess I didn't make the connection that it was the, the, uh, the Yiga. Anyway. Thanks for watching, everyone. Appreciate hanging out and all that fun stuff. I'll be back tomorrow. We'll do more of this, and, uh, yeah. I don't know at what time. I'll figure something out. In the meantime, if you want to watch more stuff, particularly these streams, they're going up pretty much immediately on YouTube. So, I think the first few, whatever, days I've been playing this are all up. So, yeah, you can watch whatever you missed out on there. Or anything else. Check it out. And as always, if you're watching this on YouTube later, thanks for tuning in. And consider subscribing, algorithm stuff, all that stuff. <laughs> I don't know. I'm a little tired now, so. Thanks for watching. I'm going to bed now. Take care, chat.